Hey everybody, Adam here, and we're back with a little more route. Uh, so, first off, if anybody sees anything, the energy's a little different today. I do apologize, I'm still not feeling uh, quite 100%, but I wanted to jam this tournament. I wanted to uh, kind of hang out with everybody today. So, we're here. Again, I apologize. Probably tell I'm a little congested and whatnot, so... <clears throat> Uh, excuse me. So, bear with me, please. Yeah. Alright. So, game plan here today uh, is we are playing the Saturday Beta Testers Tournament for Route TCG. Kind of went over what the game is uh, last week. It is a card game currently in development by some local friends. Uh, and they are doing a Beta Testers Tournament every Saturday uh, with a chance... Uh, free entry with a chance at a $50 cash prize. So, uh, today, I, last week we got kind of cute. Uh, I registered something that I had been kind of interested in, but really just put together uh, pretty, pretty recently. This, however, is the deck I've probably put in the most reps on, uh, and something that I've been working on for a while. Uh, so this is Zoo for Route TCG. Uh, awesome hello. Uh, for anyone who has uh, any kind of magic background uh, with and has seen competitive magic, uh, Zoo should be a pretty familiar concept to you. So we are a an aggressive creature deck. So our deck is utilizing the base Precarious Promenade, which recently uh, has, has taken a little bit of a downtick, and this list has been retuned accordingly. So you only start with 18 health, but uh, when you gain your first skill point of the game, you gain an additional point of that type until end of turn. Uh, so that means that instead of getting one skill point to spend on turn one, you get two. So you'll, again, you'll only reset to one when you start turn two, that's fine. Uh, but we are an aggressive unit based deck looking to abuse that. So. In our deck, we have three copies of Myling. For one Espionage, it is a 0-2 that gains a Rage Counter every turn. Uh, it gains one attack for every Rage Counter on it. It has Terror, which means that if it hits your opponent's base directly, it deals double damage. Uh, and uh, when Myling dies, the player who is responsible for Myling dying gains health equal to Myling's, the number of Rage Counters on Myling at the time. Brass Knucklehead, 1 Espionage, 2-1 with Stunning Strike. When it deals combat damage to a unit, uh, that unit can't attack, block, or activate its abilities uh, until my next turn. Gear Tooth Shambler. This is uh, 2 Engineering for a 3-1 robot. At any time a robot, vehicle, or weapon goes to the discard pile, put Gear Tooth Shambler back into play. You can only trigger 1 Gear Tooth Shambler every turn. Waltz. This is the weird one. So this is a 0 mana, 0 1 with hit. It levels up to give it extra points of health, uh, and eventually it comes to a point where it can't be targeted by spells. Uh, what's important here is that Walls allows us to kind of manipulate combat a little bit. They must attack Walls. If Walls is in play, they can't attack our base, they can't attack our other units. Many of our units are very small. Uh, we are looking to just get aggressive, dump our hand, and do a bunch of damage quickly. So Wall's kind of mucking with their abil our opponent's ability to take out our units. Very, very good. Dunce Driver. This is a 2 engineering 4-3. It cannot drive vehicles. We have zero vehicles in our deck. We don't care about that. It is a 2-mana 4-3. Card is very, very strong. Heart of the Troops. Uh, one Militia for an XX. Its attack and health are equal to half our units rounded up. So this means that if we have six units in play, it's a 3-3. Three, three. If we have five units in play, it's a 3-3. Three, three. Uh, so this is just a threat that scales with what our deck wants to do. Force Multiplier. Two Militia for a 3-2. Whenever it deals damage to an opponent's base, all of our units level up. Force Multiplier starts at level 1 as a 3-2 then goes to level 2 as a 5-4, and then at level 3 is a 7-6. So this is very efficiently cost of beater. Uh, Wyvern Hatchling. 1 magic, 0-2. This is something that 
for anybody who watched last week's stream, should be pretty familiar with. Uh, it gets plus one attack for each card in our discard pile, and if its attack is five or more, it gains Airborne. Uh, this is, uh, for, for anyone coming from Magic, uh, this is your Delver of Secrets. Uh, this thing is very easily scales, um, and is pretty strong, and it gains flying as the game goes on. Very, very good. Uh, Woodsman. Two nature for a 3-2. That's it. Uh, it has stat line above its cost. That's all we're looking for in this deck. Mantis Soldier. Two nature for a 3-3. If we have two other Mantis, it gets an additional plus two, plus two. We have three Mantis in the deck. A lot of things need to go really right for that to ever be a thing, but that's okay. A two mana three three is something we're looking for. Giant Sapling. So this is a one mana or one nature for a one one. If you have four or more points in nature, so that means the total points that you have access to in a turn in nature is four or greater. Its base power, its base attack and health are three. If we have seven or more points in nature, its base attack and health are five. So this is a threat that as the game goes long, it scales, it just gets better and better and better, and is very, very efficient to cast. Sickly Wasp. One nature, 2-2 two, two with airborne. Uh, it is poisoned when it comes into play. Uh, this means that it, when it comes into play, it gets a poison counter. On the start of your next turn, it gets a second poison counter. When you get to four poison counters on a unit, it dies. So we only get a couple of turns with this thing, but it is very efficiently costed. Sickly Rhino, two nature for a 4-3. When it comes into play, it is poisoned. Again, same deal. We only get a couple of turns, but for a two mana 4-3, we're okay. Rudidentling, this is a one nature for an X-2. Uh, it has foundation. Its attack is equal to its health at all times. So currently, its health is two. It is a 2-2. Two -two. If for some reason you are able to give it additional health, its attack goes up. But uh, we're playing it as a 1 mana 2-2, two -two, which is just fine. Mamba Hatchling. Single nature, 3 attack, 1 health. Again, statted above its cost, we're into that life. Finally, uh, kind of the, the filler space towards the end. Uh, bolt Caster, we're playing 2 Bolt Casters. Uh, everything else up to this point has been a 3 of. Uh, 3 of is the maximum you can have in route. Bolt Caster... 2 magic for a 2-1 with range. Range is weird. So range says, if I'm attacking a unit, I deal damage, my ranged unit deals damage to their unit, it doesn't deal damage, their unit doesn't deal damage back. However, ranged units can also block units with airborne. So this kind of allows us to muck with combat a little more. Again, we can kind of first strike things down, if you will. Um, and also kind of flyers are less of an issue. Finally, three copies of Encouragement. Uh, zero cost Militia card. Any unit gains two additional attack this turn. Uh, this is a way that we can just kind of crack the extra little bit of damage that we need to finish our opponent, uh, or to go ahead and take a unit out of play that is particularly problematic. Um, this card often gets cut in sideboard games in favor of things that are more impactful in that matchup, uh, but it's just a way to push some extra damage. Uh, again, we've already gone over Precarious Promenade. This is our base of choice. Uh, you will always start with Precarious Promenade. On to your sideboard. Again, reminder, uh, in route you only get a 10 card sideboard, so what we are playing is three copies of Magic Eye Poked. Uh, this is uh, a reaction that costs zero and deals one damage to a unit. Uh, a lot of units, you can see a lot of our units, this, this, uh, this, this. Uh, there are a lot of things with one health. Um, importantly, things like the card Honey Pot, uh, which takes control of another unit. So uh, by being able to kill one health things on the spot, let's go, very good. Uh, hate. Uh, three espionage for a reaction remove a skill point in espionage kill any unit uh, this is great for things that are just too big just too big things that we can't reasonably feasibly push damage through uh, this is like the lightning tower that our opponent 
uh, Taco had last tournament, like things that are just super difficult to interact with, uh, we can just go ahead and hate them out of play, move on with our life. Uh, Bola Thrower. This is a two, unit in Militia for two. When it enters play, you have me able to deal three damage to any unit with Airborne. Uh, this is great against Wyvern Hatchling. This is allowing us to take down Wyvern Hatchlings. It can also block as though it had Airborne, which is going to allow us to block future Wyvern Hatchlings or other Wyverns, things like that. Uh, Bloody Tower. This is an alternate base that you will often play in aggressive mirrors, uh, especially on the draw. Uh, you can remove a skill point, spend a full skill point, to heal your base for three health. Oftentimes we end up with extra resources just laying around because we dump our hand quickly and being a, a five color deck, uh, sometimes we just don't need everything that we have access to. Uh, Bloody Tower lets us turn that into health uh, should our opponent be a little more aggressive than we are. Again, specifically, you're usually using this in aggro mirrors when you're on the draw. Uh, Flesh Farm. This is a base that allows us to start with 23 health. Uh, you may pay three skill points to the same skill type, sacrifice three units, return a unit from a discard pile into play under your control only once per turn cannot be used as a reaction uh so this is tech that we figured out uh there is a reanimator deck in this game uh you are absolutely able to reanimate units flesh farm is only one of the ways uh, but what's cute is that the reanimator deck itself a little slow kind of takes a while to takes a little while to set up get everything going um oftentimes if we play flesh farm in that matchup uh we make more units than they do so we force them into a position where they cannot discard a big unit that they intend to reanimate before they're reanimating it. So it slows them down even further, meaning that they have to do everything in one turn. And we just get to keep pushing damage the whole way along. Pretty strong. Uh, this tech is pretty great. Uh, I've been really happy with it. So this is the current iteration of Route TCG Zoo uh, as of this moment in the beta test. Uh, so I can tell you um, some of these cards have already been nerfed. Some of these cards have been nerfed multiple times. Um, so I, if you are someone that is looking at this game long term, uh, I cannot promise you <laughs> that uh, if you catch this as a snapshot and then go to buy the game, uh, once it launches on Kickstarter in November, that these cards are going to look the same. Rem remember, this is a beta test event. Uh, but at present, this is what these cards do, and it has been a very, very good combination of cards. Uh, Promenade has just recently been nerfed. It used to be, uh, you started the game with 12 health, uh, and you got two additional skill points of that one type on turn one. It was very strong. We were very aggressive. <laughs> Um, but, uh, there was some concern that potentially a deck like this could just run over an opponent before they ever had a chance to set up. And so, uh, with that being said, uh, we have shifted to a point now where, okay, so it's one less point, you get some extra health, okay. As such, uh, this deck has been streamlined a little more. Uh, we used to play a couple of three drops, we're no longer playing three drops. Uh, we are all ones and twos, other than walls which costs zero, and encouragement, which costs zero. <laughs> so nothing in our deck costs more than two, uh, other than these hates, uh, which you play because it is the most efficient removal in the game by a long shot. So uh, that is Zoo, and that is where we're at right now. So uh, we should be getting started here in about five minutes or so, but I wanted to pop in real quick, um, kind of do a deep dive on what we're playing, uh, given that this is a deck I've kind of put a lot of reps into. Um, I think that this is something like iteration 7 or 8 of Zoo. Uh, one of the devs and I started this kind of on a whim one night. Uh, where they were the dev was playing a deck containing Heart of the Troops. And I read that card and I went, that's probably just a deck, right? Like, you probably, you probably just play a bunch of cheap units and this card's very, very good. And the dev says, maybe. And so we jammed for about eight hours that night and kept iterating and iterating and iterating and eventually came to the version of Zoo that got Promenade nerfed. 
um, deck was very, very strong and very, very aggressive. And so now, uh, after the nerf earlier this week, um, last week, something like that, uh, after the nerf, we went ahead and kind of tuned it a little bit more to be more in line with one, what's actually going on by and large, uh, and two, now that this only gives us a total of two skill points on turn one instead of three, cool. Let's let's streamline ourselves a little further. So, I hope that everyone is having a great Saturday. A lot of ways you could be choosing to spend your Saturday afternoon. Super grateful that you chose to hang out with me. Again, I apologize if we sound a little funny today. A um, little congested, still not feeling spectacular. It's cool. I'll survive. I want to be here. So, let's see where we're at with... Okay. Waiting to see where we're at with getting everything going. Bro, like, I don't know about the rest of you, but like, the spam emails that I've been getting recently are so much more wild and like totally random than they were previously. <laughs> like, it used to be, right, that like, you had all these companies trying to hawk you like shitty boner pills and whatever, and it's like, cool, yeah, whatever. But now it's like, so like, you've got the, the phishing scam emails, that's one thing. And like, I just got an email about annuities. Do, do I look like the type to want to talk annuities and investments with you? Because I promise I'm not. Like, people are just trying so hard to get like any level of engagement with their brand or with their fraudulent shell company, whatever it might be. But, wild. So how's everybody doing this Saturday? Hopefully everyone's weekend is off to a great start. I went out and ran some errands with my beautiful wife this morning, got some stuff taken care of, had a very delightful human who was kind enough to deliver my groceries from Costco. We weren't, uh, my wife is also not feeling super well, so uh, we decided that we didn't really want to go out and do the, the whole Costco thing. So someone delivered our groceries for us and it was delightful, but there were some other errands that we had to run, some things that we absolutely had to take care of, uh, prescription refills, medication for our tiny fur child. So we went out and ran all of the requisite errands that we had to run. Oh. I recently got into baking bread, um, which like, uh, yeah, so did everybody. Uh, like over the last couple of years um i'm very late to the party there but um it was just one of those things where i had a friend who's been doing it for a while and has constantly been trying to hey hey like i i think that you would enjoy this like you should probably just do this and so eventually i just like caved a couple of weeks ago like a month ago maybe now and started baking my own bread and it has been delightful so I don't super recommend. Uh, it is a couple hours of work for something that will last you like a week. Um, 10 out of 10. And much, much better than what you get purchasing bread at a store unless you're spending like a pretty exorbitant amount of money on a single loaf of bread. Which I have done. So my, my delightful Costco delivery human um, dropped off a 25 pound bag of flour for making bread and looked at us, my wife and I, like we were insane. Like, what in God's name are you doing with a 25 pound bag of flour? Answer, baking bread. Lots of bread. <clears throat> Hopefully everyone else is out there living their best life. For everyone in chat, if you are curious about this game at all throughout the day, uh, pop in and it looks interesting, exclamation mark route. No? 
I swear to God, the bots, there, there we go. It just took its sweet time. Um, exclamation mark route in chat uh, points you to the official website where you can hop in and take a look at all the rules, take a look at all the cards, stuff like that. And then on that link, it, through that website, you will find a link to the Discord where you can hop in and beta test with us. There's usually some number of us around at any point. Um, we have uh, at least one player from the UK. Uh, so if you are outside of the US looking for somebody uh, to jam at non-US times, uh, Taku is usually around. <clears throat> uh, but there are several of us here in the US as well in various time zones. So we are usually looking to jam some games too. But it's been a lot of fun. And the, the hand flows that are out kind of testing and doing our thing it's been really sweet so we definitely recommend if you are into trading card games all right go ahead and group oh yikes this Yeah, uh, so something I didn't really cover um, kind of last week at all. Uh, in route, your deck is 50 cards. Uh, your deck can be more than 50 cards, but 50 cards is the like required number for competitive play. Uh, and then there is a base, uh, much like <clears throat> in Magic where you have Yorian that requires you to play extra cards. Uh, in route, there is a base uh, that requires you to play... Uh, an additional 25 cards and it all has to be singleton unless the card specifically states that you can have additional copies so that's pretty interesting um there are a handful of us who have played around with it um the the uh i can't remember the full name of the base off the top of my head i'm gonna be totally honest with you but i know that it's something academy and a handful of us have worked on various deck lists, and we've all kind of come to a similar <laughs> conclusion, uh, give or take a small handful of cards. Uh, but, yep, Academy's out there. Uh, I did even build Academy Zoo, which I think is terrible, uh, <laughs> but it exists, uh, should you ever hate yourself enough that you want to play that. Uh, Academy Zoo does exist. Uh, because we had uh, one of the devs who, as I was working on Zoo a bunch, uh, kind of challenged me to saying hey look like uh if we're you know all this work you've done on zoo what does academy zoo look like a bunch of singletons a bunch of extra cards and uh it's pretty pretty bad you get all of the cards you want to play and then start playing some pretty pretty atrocious replacements and stand-ins oh We're gonna try to do here while we're waiting for everything to get started. Tournaments. That is a good question, Taco. Are we starting? Going to try to get one of the devs to send me the link to the stream. I wanted to do this last time, but I can get any one of them to to pass it along in a reasonable amount of time. Um, <clears throat> but game plan is to uh, kind of if we're between rounds or something like that to go ahead and we can watch some of the other players play, kind of check out some of their games. So should be sweet. Thanks, Dad. Sick. Yo, can we never do that again? I would appreciate it.
Yikes. Going to fire this up. Oh, they're having some trouble getting the stream running. Got it, got it, got it. Cool. Gonna mute this. All right, so this way, once everything is up and running, we can check out the other various matches and things like that. So that should be rad. So follow. Somehow, oh, I know how we didn't do that. I didn't know that what their channel was. All right. Again, I appreciate everyone hanging out today. A lot of ways you could be spending your Saturday afternoon. I'm grateful you've chosen to hang out with me. Again, for those who are joining a little bit late, we are playing Route TCG. Uh, we are playing a unit or creature-based aggressive deck that I have dubbed Zoo for obvious reasons for anyone who comes from Magic. Uh, we are just looking to play a bunch of aggressively statted creatures that cost one or two skill points to make use of precarious promenade which is a base that allows you to have two skill points or two mana on your first turn instead of just one any miko what does that even mean Did they... What in God's name is going on? Who is this human? So apparently they had someone join the tournament at the very last minute and they just joined the tournament, haven't, uh, haven't really let anybody know what's going on just yet, so all right. Wild. So it seems to be this is a friend of another player who's hopping in last minute, which is absolutely fine. Super grateful to have more players. Yeah, it seems that this was uh, not well planned. All right. Let me go back to the main. Everyone can hang out and watch Tabletop Simulator for just a second while we go ahead and yuck.
Okay. Oh, and we're first on stream. Sick. Where? Okay. Looks like we're trying to get started here. We're just waiting on, looks like the, our last minute edition, Miko and myself are on stream for round one. And we're just trying to get the details sorted out regarding this player. Okay, waiting to hear from Miko. says whenever you draw your uh, first card of the turn that isn't from your main draw step, you can deal one damage to any target. That is a spicy little combo. Spicy little combo with a card called Sapping Wand that says whenever the attached unit deals damage to a base, you get to draw a card and your opponent has to discard a card. And, uh, yeah, if you have a Sapping Wand on a Knowledge Chandler and you trigger an additional draw after your first draw that turn, uh, you are dealing a lot of damage. If you throw a Big Brain in the mix, you are dealing infinite damage. Okay. We'd love to see you. So, pretty cool. It's, uh, it's got multiple pieces and it's very interactable, um, so it doesn't seem too unhealthy at the moment, but... We could certainly see one or two of those pop off today. We know the deck is being run by one person. Predictions, will it win the tournament? <coughs> All right. And then the second combo has just been adding a nice little unit cannon to the monster's deck. Unit cannon plus any big monster, Baba Yaga, Arsenaloni, any of that stuff is shooting for 14, 15 okay. damage. Absolutely huge. And I know we'll be seeing this from Wolfman today. Last week playing just monsters, this week adding in Arsenaloni with unit cannon and the like. Looks like the first game is getting set up. We're going to have Ezreal Chimera playing Zoo against me. Okay. Get everything set up now. All right, let's go ahead and hop in. <clears throat> Nico, hello. Hello. Wolf said I should come down here. Yes, and I see that you sent me a request here. I will accept your request. 
and we can get this started. All right. Oh, let's see. If waiting to confirm devs are ready for us to get started. Sounds good. That's okay, I can, we can get you to walk through everything here in just a moment. Cool. Okay. All right. So I see Jay is in here. I will go ahead and send you an invite into this lobby. For some reason, I can't find you. What is your name on Steam? No, uh, I haven't updated it. It should say Calmat. Oh, there we go. Perfect. That's the one we were looking for. Oh. And just like Wolf, I'll probably have a kid running around in the background. Oh, you're fine. Like right now? <laughs> So there's your deck, we've got your deck right on the table for you. Give me just a moment, we're gonna clean up a little bit so it's a little easier to function in here. And then I will get my deck and we'll be good to go. Cool. All right. All right, this What base did you get? Precarious yeah. Promenade. So I start with Precarious Promenade is the name of my base. I start with 18 health, but on my turn one, I, was... I get a bonus skill point. Not cool. All right. I had the, the Floating Palace base when I was... But I only picked it. I don't know why I picked it. Gotcha. Okay. So you can just hold, uh, click and hold over your deck, and then if you shake it, it'll shuffle for you. Oh, cool. That move. Perfect. And then we can roll a couple of dice to see who goes first. Is high roll okay? Sounds good. All right. Oh, that's a 10. How do you pick up two at the same time? If you click and drag, it'll highlight yellow around both of them. Yep, so just let go of that dice. Yep, you can just let go for a minute. And then click and drag. Oh, that's what you mean, like this. There we go, yep. And we are at... Didn't too far? Nope, uh, that is five. One and a four. I see the way up there. Yep. So I had to zoom out for a minute. Okay. I will go first. So then if you click five over the top of your deck, mm -hmm. it, it will draw your five cards. I will keep my hand. Uh, you get to decide if you'd like to keep your hand as well. And yeah, what happens if you don't? Uh, then you can put it back, shuffle, and you get one free one. You can draw five again. And see if you like that. 
if you don't want to keep that, then the second time you'll look, the third time, the third hand you look at, if you like what you see there, you put one of them on it back into your deck and then shuffle your deck. And then it goes down right. at one every time from there. I'm going to keep so this. I have to put these back to these. Okay. So you can just uh, go ahead and, oh, I'm sorry. We're actually also both sitting in weird spots. I just realized that. Uh, yep. Oh, okay. Yep. So you have to flip them over. If you hit F, it'll flip them over. And then you right. can put them right back on top of your deck. Oh, there. I oh. Think there we go. <laughs> Jay's going to give you a hand. So you can go ahead and shuffle. Magic. Okay. Right. Okay. You like that five? Oh, I gotta get my hand here. Give me a second. Perfect. Okay. All right. Uh, I'm also keeping. I will go first. So I'm gonna make uh, two points in nature on turn one. Play a rooted entling and a dryad sapling. So rooted entling is a has two health and its attack is equal to its health. And then Dryad Sapling is a 1-1. One, one. If I have four or more points in nature, it becomes a 3-3. Three, three. If I have seven or more points, it becomes a 5-5. Five, five. Cool. And then it is your turn. Draw for gray. Yep. And put one yep, bump. Bumper turn. Play a one spell card. Yep. And then pass, I guess. Okay. I will reset my points. Draw a card. So is this button here supposed to be for whose turn it is? Right. Did... Yep. Okay. So I will make a point in. No, we're gonna make a point in espionage. I will play a brass knucklehead. It is a 2-1 with Stunning Strike. When it deals damage to a unit, that unit is stunned, which means it can't attack, block, uh, deal counter yeah. attack, or activate its abilities. That's pretty good. So I will then go to combat. I will attack your base for one with Dryad Sapling. Okay, I'll take the damage. I will attack your base for two with Rooted Endling. You take two. All right. I will pass to you. Draw. Could be... So spells are during my turn, reactions are whenever? Correct. Okay. Okay. I'll just pass another creature. Okay. I will play a walls for free. That's so. <laughs> it's pretty good. Um, how do you level? So uh, this one, you can put engineering points into leveling it, uh, or there are certain cards that let you level stuff up. And then I will put a point into magic. Play a Wyvern Hatchling. And then I will 
go to attacks. I will attack your base for one with Dryad Sapling. I will block with my Prophetic Apprentice. Okay. They will trade. And when it dies, I draw a card and then card. Yep. Attack your base for two with Rooted Endling. I will block with both cast. Okay, so you will take one, your base will take one, and then both of these will die. What's range? So range says if you attack with it, uh, the okay. creatures that it attacks don't deal their damage oh, back, please. but only on attacks. Okay. Then I will attack you for two with a Brass Knucklehead. And pass. two magics to play uh, Battle Mage Apprentice. Okay. How do I look at the top? Yeah, card? so the easiest way we found is just go ahead and put it in your hand. Okay. Draw it. Yep. And we know it's the one in the end there. Mm -hmm. So is it a spell or reaction or invention in magic? It is a spell. Okay. So then you can put it on the table and show it to me? And it will stay in your hand. Okay. Okay. Perfect. So that is a magic cannonball. Yep. So then that you get to keep that card in your hand. The heck's a vehicle? I haven't seen one yet. Nope. Not yet. And, and then I will play, is this is called? Uh, so that, you wouldn't be able to play that since you played Battle Mage Apprentice. You only have one left. Um, I did that in the wrong order. <laughs> it's okay. Uh, I guess then I will cannonball. My base? Your, um. It only hits units or base. Or it only hits base or vehicles. Oh. Um, yeah, I might as well do your base. You got it. And then I'm done. Okay. So we'll gain a point here. Draw. It's probably better than what we were going to do. Okay. I will put a point into nature. I will spend both points to play Mantith Soldier. It is a 3-3. Three, three. If I control at least two other Mantiths, it gets plus two, plus two. Green sounds like a cool deck. It's not bad. Uh, I will use... I'm very creature focused in magic. Gotcha. I will use Brass Knucklehead to attack your Battle Mage Apprentice. And I have to block, right? Yep, uh, yeah, I'm attacking the creature directly. Okay. 
So it's kind of like Hearthstone. Die, right? Yep, they both die. And then I will use Wyvern Hatchling to attack your base for three. Okay. And then I will pass to you. Guys, up to three already. Crazy. Yep. The point is magic. Okay. Unstoppable Voyager? Yep. Unstable all your happens. Hmm? You're good. Uh, what's Shadow Clone? So Shadow Clone, if I attack that creature directly, it makes a token where the token's toughness or health is equal to my attacking creature's attack. So it just soaks up the damage. But it only happens once. Oh, okay. Yep. Uh, pass the turn. Okay. Do draw a point here. How can you look through your graveyard? Uh, if you right click, there's a search button. Just under reset. Oh. Okay. That works too. But yeah, if you right click, there's a button that says search. Yeah, I thought I hit search. Okay. So I'm going to spend two nature. I put a point into magic for the turn. I'm going to play a sickly rhino. Like it. it is a 4-3. When it comes into play, it's poisoned. When it gets its fourth poison counter, it dies. And then I will spend two magic to play bolt caster. So 2-1 with ranged. Then I will... Go to attack. Attack your base for three with Manteth Soldier. So Shadow Clone doesn't work if you choose to block, only if I attack the creature right. directly. So this way you would take one and they would both die. If you block. Oh, so everything has trample in Everything has trample, yes, correct. All right, I'll just take three then. Okay. And then... I will attack for three with Wyvern Hatchling. And then I will pass. Seems good. It is a 5-5. Five, five. Pass my trick. Okay. How did you figure that out? Uh, if oh, you... this guy has to attack it. So he has to attack. Uh, oh, well, otherwise you discard a card. He doesn't have to attack. But if he doesn't attack, you discard a card. So it's up to you. That's what Jay is saying there. Ah. Oh, attack. Four. If you attack, you have to attack walls. It has oh, a hit, to, oh, okay. yep, it has hit me. So if uh, hit me says if there's a thing in play with hit me and you're attacking, you have to attack that first. Okay, so I guess I'll have to attack that wall. Got it. Walls is dive. And then I can pass. 
Yep, that would be fine. And then you don't have to discard it. Okay. All right. Oh. Misclick there. Oh, does my little hand being over the yeah, deck yep. that says five tell me how spells are? Well, spells that's, how, that's how many cards are in there. Uh, Evolutionary oh. Wyvern doesn't only count spells, it counts every card. Mm. But yeah, it counts how many things are in your graveyard. So we reset this, we're gonna draw. I'm gonna make a point in Militia. I will start by attacking with Bolt Caster for two. It has ranged. That means it does its damage first, right? Correct. It the doesn't damage stay on, right? What's that? Yes, damage stays on. Correct. Okay. Two. Okay. Then I will attack for three with Manta Soldier. Uh, three. Okay. I will attack for four with Sickly Rhino. How many is your Wolverine at? It is a four power right now. Okay. Huh. I'm going to take her. Hmm. I will attack for four with Wyvern as well. I will block. Okay. You will take two. Two. My Wyvern will die. So my guy, right? Yep. And it is your turn. Uh, Go up. I will, for one, a, a weapon. Yep. See this wrong, I'm sorry, but zap this card on that. Yep, Rhino has died. Just... Now I'll cast Sapping Wand for the remaining two. make that go underneath it. Yep, you can just drag the wyvern on top. Just like that, yep. And then I will attack your base for... Seven? Seven? Sure. Uh, I will take seven. You will draw a card and I will discard a card. And then I will... I will draw. I will gain a second point in Militia. 
I will spend two of it to play a force multiplier. And then one to play a rooted and playing. Then I will attack your base for three with Mantis Soldier. I'll block with my living. Okay, you'll take uh, the hatchling. Okay, and then you'll take one and they'll trade off. And then I will attack your base for two with bolt caster. I'll take two. And then I will. Pass. Uh, go up. Yep. Yeah. I'll cast Living's Breath on your base for seven. Uh, it should be half, so it's four. Yeah. And then I'll attack your base with my living for night. You got it. Cool. It is a different game, but pretty neat. Well, and I we like got those a... green creatures a lot. We still got a second game here too, so it's like magic where it's best oh, of three. Awesome. So we can uh, go ahead. And get that all ready. Just pick it up and shuffle it? Is that how that works? Yep. Looks like Jason. Well, also, if you flip them upside down, they'll all go back in. Right. Nice. All right. Going to grab out. Actually, yeah. And so, um, do we just roll for who goes first again? Nope. Uh, much like Magic, it's the, the player who lost. So I will go first. Okay, cool. Yep, player who lost gets the choice. I'm gonna take out some cards. Oh. This. My apologies, bear with me just a moment. I do have a sideboard here. I do not. Just because you picked up a pre card. this up I will be going first take that draw five yep uh, this seems fine uh, I have changed base my base is now bloody tower I can remove a full skill point to heal my base for three I'm keeping this hand. Are you good? How do we do the whole thing? Back the whole clear, do this. Yeah. There we go. Yep. Not much better, but I'll keep it. I will make a point in espionage, play a Myling for one. It is a 0-2 with Terror, which means when it hits a base, if it wasn't blocked, it deals double damage to the base. At the end of each one of my turns, it deals one damage to each op opponent's base. You put a Rage counter on it, and it gets plus one attack for each Rage counter on it. So I've played my Myling, Crazy. move to the end of my turn, 
put a rage counter on Myling and you take one. And then I will pass to you. Seems like an insanely good card. Quite good. Uh, put a point into the spell. And then pass the turn. Okay. Do one. Draw. I will make a point in Militia. I will spend that point in Militia to play a Heart of the Troops. It is an XX where X is half the number of units I control rounded up. So currently it is a 1-1. One, one. I will go to combat and hit your base for 2 because of the terror and you can't block. And then we will go to the end of my turn and you will take one more from Myling. <laughs> Draw. Oh, jeez, Louise. Another point in the magic. Spend both points. Okay. Play both caster. Sure. And pass the card. Okay. This. Draw a card. We will go to attacks. Heart of the Troops will attack your bolt caster. They will trade. I will hit your base for four with a Myling. <laughs> I'm gonna die so fast. In second main, I will play a Wyvern Hatchling for a single magic. And we will go to end, put a counter on Myling to deal a damage to you and pass. Go up and imagine. Then two to play boatcaster. Yep. And pass. Alright. Draw. I will put a point into nature. I will trade my wyvern hatchling with your bolt caster. And then hit you for six with myling. Jeez. Go to the end of my turn and make it a seventh point. Go ahead. <laughs> Draw. <laughs> this is really fast. Put a point. Into this. Uh, spend three points to zap your thing. That's very good. You gain four. I gain four. Yep. Whenever it dies, whoever killed who is the reason it died gains life equal to the number of rage counters on it. Oh, cool. So you're gonna gain four. Four. Oh, this is lucky draw. Your turn. Okay. Full uh, draw card. Going to go to two. Spend that two to play a sickly rhino. And then spend my one espionage to play a brass knucklehead. And then I will pass turn. I'll cast a cannonball on your base. Yep. Remember? You got it. Then I'll play Unstable Voyage. Yep, that's fine. Remainder and pass. 
Okay. Right number two poison, draw a card. Nope. I reset this. Gain another point here. I will attack your base for two with Knucklehead. Okay, takes two. I will attack your base for four with the Rhino. I'll block. Okay, and then you take two when they trade. And then I will, in my second main, play a, another Brass Knucklehead and a Woodsman and pass the turn to you. Oh, my goodness. Gain of magic. And five to play Revolution Wyvern. Yep, that's fine. And pass. Uh, end of your turn, I will spend a full skill point in... Magic to heal my base for three. I kind of knew that was pointless for me to be carrying a level with it. I mean, you kind of got to do it, though. All right. So we'll go to two. Two here. Everything's fine. Draw. Make a third point in espionage. Spend all three of it and lose one permanently to cast hate to kill your evolutionary wyvern. Yep. And then we will attack your base for two, four, seven. Yep. And then second main, there is another woodsman. It is your go. Can you draw something good? Just that. So how do I look through my, my graveyard? If you right click, uh -huh. there's a little magnifying glass that says search. It's just under the reset, above deal. So do I click the search button? Yep, just click search. It'll let you search through your graveyard. See everything that's in there. Ah, uh, cool. Stage. Sure. I'm going to get back the cannonball. Yep. I'm going to spend one to play the cannonball, hitting your tower. You got it. For your base. And then I'll pass the turn. Uh, I will spend my point at the end of my turn, end of your turn, to heal my base. <laughs> two. Two. Drop. Okay. We'll start by going to attacks. I will attack your base for three with wood then. Okay. They will trade off. Then I will attack your base for a total of seven more. So, seven? Yeah. And 17, so. Okay. And then I will 
play a Myling, make a point in Jeez. engineering, go to the end of my turn, and you will take one from Myling. Oh, should only be, there we go. Go ahead. <sighs> You can only have seven, right? Yep, seven total. That doesn't matter. It's the reds. Put it there. Recycling. Yep. And I'll put five. That's a really expensive card. You can use it to get back some really powerful cards, though. Spell card, right? A uh, spell or reaction, I believe. Yep, a spell or reaction. I guess I'll get Zap back. Okay. Oh, I don't know. Here it goes. And pass, because. Okay. I can't use non red for red cards, right? Correct. Yep, everything yeah. has to be the, the type that it says. So I will gain back this point. Draw a card. Seems pretty good. I will start by attacking your base for three with Woodsman. Take. Okay. I will attack your base for two with Knucklehead. Two. I will attack your base for two more with Knucklehead. Take two. I will go to my second main. I will put a point into engineering, spend both points to play a dunce driver. It is a 4-3. Then I will move to the end of my turn, put a point a rage counter onto Myling and deal one more to you. You're good. Draw. And I guess I'll put one more here. I'll spend five for Wyvern. Yep. Blue Shane Wyvern. I'll spend two more to play this thing. Sure. I'll pass. And so... all I have to do is pass the win. So, good game. <laughs> Fair. Cool. We, could, we got it one more yet, so we can uh, shuffle them back up and go again. Oh, that's not what I wanted to do. Oh. All right. There we go. Does the person go first draws too? No. Or no. Nope. Okay. Like magic. So just like magic. Yeah. Then? If it like just like magic, if you go first, you don't draw. I'll go first, I guess. Okay. Then I've never gone first. Keep this hand. I'm also going to keep this hand. So I'll put 
is going in red. Okay. That's a prophetic princess. Sure. Yeah, it passed. All right. I will draw, make a point in nature, play all walls for free, play a Mamba Hatchling with my one nature, and I will pass to you. Walls is to hit me with level up, and Mamba yeah. Hatchling is just a 3 1. attack your wall. You got it. Play Battle Mage Apprentice for two. Okay. Let's the best move we is just to draw the card, right? Yep, just draw it. It'll be the one in the one end. I can see it, so. Could the spell show you yep. and then put it back? Correct. Yep, so it's foresight, so you get to keep it. And then I'll pass. Okay. Reset here. Draw a card. Go to two. Uh, Mamba Hatchling will attack your base for three. Uh, I can play a reaction spell uh, in response, right? Uh, yeah, you can Magic Eye poke it. Yep, it's right, done. Cool. Then I will play a Woodsman and pass. There's a point in the magic. Yep. That's how you say it? Eureka. Yep, it's supposed that to be an exclamation, right. an exclamation point. Sorry, yep. Eureka. So uh, you gain a point, but the point you gain is empty. You can't use it this turn. You'll just start your next turn right. with extra. And your base loses 12. Perfect. So you get to gain a point there, too. So you should have a total of four. Perfect. And you have one more point that you can spend this turn. What's that cool, buddy? Uh, I'll attack your woodsman with my battle man. Okay, we'll trade. And I'll pass. All right. Two. Draw. I will gain a point in engineering. I will spend my two points in nature to play a sickly rhino. <clears throat> then I will pass. Such a good creature. Quite good, yes. Draw. Gain a point.
I'll play Foresight for three. Yep. How many copies of the cards are allowed to be in the deck? Three. Three, okay. Yep. It's just being funny, man. And the other two, I will play Eureka again. You got it. And your base takes two. And the pass. Okay. And I reset all my skill points. Rhino goes up to two poison. Draw a card. Dece, dece. Uh, Rhino will attack your base four four. Uh, attack, uh, block. Okay. Uh, take three. I will put one point of damage on Rhino. Then I will gain an extra point in engineering and play a dunce driver. And pass. <clears throat> Did you remember to draw and discard off of your apprentice? I did not. Please go right ahead. We'll do that before you take your turn. Okay. I'll discard Eureka. Seems reasonable. <laughs> you know, because I don't need three of those. Nope. Okay, then I'll do my turn and I'll draw. a point. Imagine it. do be like that sometimes. That's why I asked him, like, so how many of these things am I left? So I have six left. Set this. Rhino goes to three. I will draw a card. Cool, cool. This all seems good. Uh, we will start by Rhino attacking your base for four. There is one damage marked on it currently. Four is enough. I'm gonna pluck him with my apprentice. Okay. You got it. Then I will attack for Dun with for four with Dunce Driver. He has three as well? Yep. He has four three. I will uh I poke it. Okay. So there's one damage on it? So that would be two, and then I will for four play chain lightning cool okay and two to it and one yeah. to your rhino cool so all of that before damage both of my dudes die okay then i will go to my second main i will gain a point in espionage no i will gain a point in militia I will spend two points in engineering for another Dunce Driver. 
I will spend one point in Militia for a Heart of the Troops. And I will pass. one to Heart of the Troops? Yes. Got it. Makes sense. Attack for four with Dunce Driver. One second, but what did you say, sorry? You're okay. I'm going to attack for four with Dunce Driver right at your base. I will block for three. Okay, so you take one. You straight off. In my second main, I will gain a point in Militia. I will spend two of it to play Force Multiplier. Yeah. And then I will spend one point to play a Dryad Sapling. Then I will pass. I can see why you'd want to play a multicolored deck. Uh, this deck is right. the only five color deck that currently exists that I know of. I mean like any multicolored sure. deck. Like two colors. That, you get to seven and you're kind of like, hmm. It's hard in the early game, though. Trying to figure out how do you want to make skill points and things like that. Right. I'll make one of this, whatever this one is. Sure. Some gray. Energy. You got it. I can't use it, so I'll put it on the okay. next time. Sure. Base, I'll do one. I'll use one magic to cannonball your base. You got it. The last three there was a gap. Now look. That's because you're growing, but. I'll play recycling stage. Sure. I'll recycle that. That's for five. Then I'll recycle cannonball and I'll just play it right away. You got it. And then I'll pass. Okay. I'm not going to worry about healing just yet. We said all of our stuff. Draw a card. Cool. Cool. Okay. So we're going to start by playing Force Multiplier. We're going to use Dryad Sapling to attack your Recycling Sage for one. Then we're going to attack your base for three with force multiplier. Can I block him and just to block for three? No, because there's one. There's already one damage. Three? Uh, so I would still take three. Okay. Yeah, my force. Okay. Yep. So you take one, and then my force multiplier triggers. 
I will level up my other force multiplier. Then in my second main, I will make a point in espionage, spend that for a miling, spend my two for a gear tooth shambler. Mm. Yo, that was weird. It just reset for some reason, okay. So here's this, here's the gear tooth shambler. This is all the things we wanted to be doing. Uh, your recycling stage should be in your discard pile. There we go. Oh, yes. We got there. Uh, and I will move to the end of my turn to put a counter on Myling and deal one to you. So because... Uh, Myling cards are pain. <laughs> it's very good. Because Force Multiplier has leveled up, it is a 5-4 now, by the way. Oh, cool, cool. Set my points. Draw a card. Pretty good. I will attack for three with Gear Tooth Shambler on base. Sorry, I forgot that I needed it because I was talking to my kid. You're okay. And then. Uh, In this spin four. Okay. And we'll play Chain Lightning. Killing your two shield one miling? Yes. Okay. You got it. And you gain one. I will attack for four with force multiplier. Or I'm sorry, with for five with force multiplier. We'll take five. My second I will play a dunce driver. Yes. And pass. Okay. I'll spend three. And zap. Uh, so force, force, multiplier. force multiplier has leveled up again. It's a seven six now. Okay. Yeah, I'll we'll hit it. Okay. So take five. as big as it can get, right? Correct. That is as big as it can get. And I'll spend three more. And I'll zap the bench driver. Driver is dead. And I'll attack your base. Okay. Uh, I will... take 17 and go to 1. Pass. Okay. Uh, in your end of turn, hold on a second. Okay. I will spend one point to heal my base for three. Yeah. Um, and then one point to heal my base for three. Then we will go to my turn. That's such a good base. It's very good. <laughs> like uh, I, 
since I'm in red, I wish I had that, because then I have the AI three points that I'm never going to use. Right. I will draw. That's the punish. Yep. I will gain a point in espionage. I will attack your base for seven. We'll take seven. I will pass. Oh, okay. All right, cool. And I'll draw. Oh, that's her. That's it. I have one of this, so I have one in all of them. I'll attack your base. We're going to respond. I'm going to gain three. Then three more. And it's currently attacking for 17. Yes. All right. Gain three more. I will go to 19, then take 17. <laughs> then I will spend on my second me, I will spend seven. Yep. To play Wolverine's Breath. Yep. That'll do it. <sighs> All right. Good games, dude. This game is not complicated, but hard and fun. Yeah, there's a lot of strategy. My word, I wish I had that blood base. Bloody Tower is very every, good. Every, every turn after 7, I felt like it was... Honestly, I, I don't even think you need to, to... I don't even think it's necessarily like an all-one-color thing. I use it because in like being a low-to-the-ground aggressive deck, there's a lot of turns where I just end up with like an extra... extra points laying around that I don't really need. Right. And so because I end up with extra points laying around, I'm just like, okay, well, well, we'll throw them into Bloody Tower and see what happens. And so, like, that time, that game, Bloody Tower, gained so much extra... It did. Extra life that it, like, as, against another aggressive deck that's trying to kill pretty quickly, like, it can really swing a game. I got lucky with that draw, though. I was like, ah. If I block with my liver, then I have nothing else to choose. Well, right, and that was kind of what I was hoping for. It was just like, I just need to to start cracking and hope that I can turn it around. I had a, an answer to the to the Wyvern in hand, but it cost three espionage. And so the way that I had spent my points, I just couldn't couldn't turn it around. Oh. Yep, I had another hate in my hand, but I, I, I just couldn't make it couldn't make it happen fast enough. Yeah, it was unfortunate. Uh, well, so the, and actually, what was even worse is I, when I spent my points that last turn for Bloody Tower, I should have left myself with uh, a militia, because I also have bola throwers in the game in post sideboard games. So if I had drawn, if I draw a bola thrower. So, uh, fading the Wyvern's Breath, of course, but it's if I draw a Bola Thrower, then I'm going to feel the punish for spending the Militia instead of the uh, nature there to heal with Bloody Tower. Mm -hmm. Because I could just go second point Militia, Bola Thrower, kill your Wyvern. Now we're back in business. But, yep. Mm -hmm. It was it was just, just such a fashion where we couldn't engineer something to set up. It was very good. I don't even know what's in that deck. <laughs> in yours or mine? Mine. That's fair. <laughs> All right. Well, I'm going to... I gonna... played it as I was drawing it. 
Taco, did they already fire second round? Is that why you're here? Uh, okay. Let me go. What's your, what's your finger? Uh, let me find. There. I'm just thinking about these bags. Here we go again. I will get out of your hair. Good luck, friends. Thank you. All right, everyone. I will be right back. Take a quick bathroom break, and then we will get into our next round. See you soon, everybody. And we are back. Uh, bear with me while we go ahead and get this round sorted. I have not yet seen pairing for the second round come up. I need to add, copy this. Add a friend, send invites, looks like we might have a round off. buy this round so i will bring back up the stream we can they are playing in the test come here yeah just ask one of them to stream in there so you can hop in and out and check it out okay they're rolling four dice here a 15 was rolled first by violet Are you a Violet Viewer Super Blade, or you just happen to match into them? <clears throat> so
So we are currently watching. Okay. I have to reload the table. Violets and One Wolf Man Pack. Violets is on Channeler combo. And uh, Man Pack is on Weapons Monsters. Is unblockable anyway. Okay, even though Violet's in third grade. Oh, are you who I was talking to Violet in Discord the other day when I was watching the stream? Probably, right? There's our. What is this? 11, 14, 17? So this should be a win for Wolfman. World Prayer Initiative. <laughs> well, hello. Hello, Adam. Adam is here. That was a tough matchup, round one. Did we like yeah. to have to pay lightning? The absolute nightmare matchup. I'm certainly excited to see the work you can do in the loser's bracket, Adam. Yeah, Wyverns is the nightmare matchup, but you'll be dodging it for quite some time now because the loser of this is who you will play next, so... <clears throat> Alright. <clears throat> so, Bloody Tower Monsters and... Flesh Farm Channeler combo, which I believe is the list that Austin and I have been kind of toying with together. This is a reanimator deck playing a combo package. Bloody Tower is main deck. infinite. Pretty interesting. Oh, no. Nope. Apparently, Violet is Bloody Tower main. I mean, I don't hate it. For Channeler combo. Apprentice coming down in the past. Apprentice. We're seeing it everywhere. Most decks that can play it do play it. Is the princess in zoo? Any mirrors? I don't think so. Metalhead coming down on the floor. Wolfman. The only non monster making an appearance in the deck, but just so good at buying you some time early if that's what you need to do. Probably trading with his apprentice here is going to feel great, but <clears throat> no apprentice in zoo anymore. It makes sense. Going with mostly a little bit beefier threats. The scrapping wand is discarded in the combo deck. Do you think he's got another one? Um, yeah, as someone who has been brewing and playing combo lists, um, I've had several hands where I've had two or three sapping wands and had to pitch them myself. Definitely curious to see, though, if that is the case. Well, Miling can pressure a 24 health base pretty well. It certainly can. <clears throat> there it is. We saw 12 points of damage come in from the last Miling that got yeah, I mean, it dealt 16 to Forga, healed off, but yeah, I mean, it, yeah. it almost would have killed the Promenade. <clears throat> and that was the game that Adam ended up winning, right? Getting 54 damage, or 44 damage total? Correct. There's Journeyman, gonna deal one to this Miling. Oh, deal one to the base, okay. One to base, there's bold. That says I'm gonna gonna ignore your miling for now. Deck has a lot of removal online here. Oh, just a resource order. That is pretty good. Resource order, of course, an early staple of the meta. <coughs> I'm telling you, the humans deck with this and propaganda and knucklehead sweet. So, and this is round two of the event. The 
loser of this match is our opponent. Mm -hmm. So, honestly, I think I want to get paired against monsters. Mm -hmm. I think that we're a little faster than monsters. I think that we're actually a lot faster than monsters. Chain lightning in response. We do have to watch out uh, if Manpack is playing. Um, Should result in both. Ghost guys. blade with Arsenal Oni. That's a lot of damage very quickly, and we end oh. up dying. Okay, yeah, that does. The turning them should take one. Oh, no. Okay. Yeah, so Draft can also put Espionage humans in the play. That is correct. Draft can put Espionage humans in the play. You can even put things into play like Recycling Stage. That is true. Yes. That's kind of interesting. Or uh, even a knowledge channel. Also true. Probably not. I, I like the idea of the stage getting the draft back. It's kind of sweet. Yeah. Indeed, you can draft them for a cycling stage. It is a human. There's a lot of spicy tech with the uh, newly changed draft that has not been explored yet. Yeah, um, Wolfman had that human deck, and that deck was sweet. Leo reducing the cost of the espionage humans down to pretty low, and then draft just letting them play whatever human. The draft in the recycling stage, I love that. <laughs> I could probably find room in a just espionage militia deck for the sages just to try to hit them with draft. Would be a long shot. That seems loose, good. but also being in espionage, it. you could play something that a lot of blood the price. Plus, plus blood price, yeah. Yeah. Doppelganger oh, yeah. via journeyman kills the wow. journeyman. Incredible. Pretty sick. And here comes some damage. See some terror activation here. Yep. Although, both players will be hitting seven skill points on their turns. Here's the seven point for Violet. If you have the channeler, it's time to start going for it. Channeler on this board is safe as far as attacks go. That's this a hot a one. Big library, though. This is a 6 5. And another big library. Double and another one. Ooh, triple wyverns here. Oh boy. back in from uh, checking out the Popcorn Taco versus Nico game. Uh, we do have Wyverns versus Militia level up humans. Popcorn Taco playing level up? Level up humans with Horde Hostel. I love it. Why is that Hodag shaped like that? Why is it Hodag shaped like that? Okay. It was on this thing. Oh, okay. Cage on the Evolutionary Wyvern. Wow. Yeah. That is pretty good. Yeah, in the Popcorn, Popcorn Taco, Taco game, he had just dropped a recruiter. Looking pretty spicy over there. I'll be popping in again shortly to get more on that. Could you imagine another Taco victory? Just taking James's $50 over and over and over. Honestly, he wouldn't be too mad at that. Yeah. I do believe the game of Red is very skill dependent, so... All I can hope for is the best player winning every week. Unless they are up to playing some spice. <laughs> the game of Rao also home to many decks that are a blast to play. Yes. 
but uh you wouldn't have Sprague though. You dead. Oh, uh <laughs> Wolfman considered playing it. Really? Yes. Yeah. You you explained the Yeah, he had a frog set going with a bunch of the like bigger frog payoffs and kept not drawing any frogs, so I was telling him about frog mode. Yeah. Um okay, so it looks like Want to buy you or something? Yeah. Here's another I evil one. So large. How much is one million beaver? Yes, Schneider six nine six six. How much for one million beaver? <laughs> and none of the medium viewers. I want the primes viewers. But yeah, Only the primes viewers. Yeah. The ones that subscribe and pay five dollars every month. So Wyvern landed apprentice drew a Eureka. Wow. Um, <coughs> How many cards in hand for a Wolfman right now? A lot, probably. Yeah, four. Okay. Okay. This is probably coming in for seven. And then seven more. A big hill swing. Many much oh, damages. Maybe. Yeah. Also, I don't need tower in wyverns. I think based off the wyverns, there's still six. That's what we made this game for, to get famous on Twitch. Yeah. Yeah, that was, that was so good. This was all a big ruse to get Jay on Twitch. There you go. We're trying to uh, beat Ludwig's subathon numbers. <laughs> oh, we'd have to be trying to beat, uh, what's his name, Kai Sinat now. Oh yeah, he just, well, did he, he, break, he just broke the, uh, the most uh, continuous subs, right? He broke Ludwig's streak. Uh, with 80,000, and then he broke 90,000 yesterday, and he broke 100,000 today, I believe. That is insane. Yeah. I just... <laughs> can I... <laughs> 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 Hot tub stream win. Soon, we'll sub bowl it. I'll turn on my actual stream, I mean, we'll get it going. I do have a hot tub, we could arrange this. We yeah. gotta sub bowl it to profit off the viewers. <laughs> oh, I'll go to Walmart right now and buy a hot tub. So this is Journeyman... Munching an apprentice. Have you been to a Walmart? <laughs> <laughs> they don't have hot tubs. <laughs> they do. The Oregon Walmart have inflatable hot tubs, brother. Inflatable? That's not a hot tub. That's a pool. <laughs> that's what all yeah, the like, girls are using. Oh, okay. Let me go with the kiddie pool. I, I can't do that. Okay. Oh, boy. Honey <laughs> Pop, the evolutionary library. That's pretty good. Yeah. Very strong. I hot shit. I will return. Okay. <laughs> We're Violet, we are hoping to have an eye poke in hand. Yeah, this board is a disaster. Yaren oh. also down. Hodags are here, they might as well attack, I would think. Oh, no, no attacks. We're just trying to wall up here. Ooh. Dangerous. Get them all to eight. Yeah, this is all the story. Nine. Place, right? You can block one, but the, not all of the damage. This is gonna be lethal. We're taking four here. Do we know that we are taking four? To not block that. Okay, this game is over. Cool. Hmm. All right. I was taking game one. This is a keener of a game. He's uh, definitely, definitely coming for blood since last week. Wolfman just heated. Um, but Violet also has been practicing quite a bit, brewing his own stuff. I mean, it's a really good game all around. Yeah, and both players Golden have well developed side decks here, too. So, yeah. We're probably going to see some changes. 
I wonder if Floating Palace made it into the side deck for Wolfman. Birds, Bloody Powers, House of Horrors, Ferrets. Ooh, what is that doing in there? Yeah. Oh, no. That's he, not a card anymore. He had them in his frog's deck earlier, and I said those are gone, and then he said, oh yeah. <laughs> oh, okay. And then he took them from his frog deck, frog deck and put it in the sideboard of this, I guess. <laughs> nice. Anybody was wondering my uh, Anaheim pepper salsa very. So what the devs are discussing here right now is the the one magic card in Manpack sideboard uh, recently got removed from the game. Uh, it was seeing no play, and the devs wanted to try to send yeah, yeah, I'm sure to to swap it out for something they thought would might actually be like <laughs> enjoyable to players of the game. I'm, I'm so they went ahead and <clears throat> they went ahead and yeah, cut yeah, that card, yeah. but it looks like it be Man Pack but missed the memo. Papa Dog, where you at? <laughs> I ate 30 pizzas in 30 days. <laughs> pop eat some Papa Murphy's. I would do lots of Papa Murphy's. No one wants to take the pizza home and put it in the oven. That's what you pay money I wouldn't do it. I wouldn't take the pizza home and put it in the oven. That's the best. You make the phone call home. Tell it your mind's coming at four twenty-five. You could have just all the money to do bad things. Yeah, you could have just cooked it for free. Yeah. Free? Yeah, you still have to go to the grocery store. That's too much. You want to go to your food. house, you clown? I don't actually. Your pantry just that... sits empty until it's time to eat, and then you go buy exactly have... the ingredients for it. I have chili and balls of wine and some unflavored Greek yogurt in my James bowl. Walton, no alcoholic, no food in this house, but about 30 gallons of alcohol. Bottles, not gallons. Sure. That's what he tells himself to help himself feel better. Oh, we are two turns into this game. Wolfman got a point in pass. Pilot has played a 0-2 Wyvern. Playing no fish simulator. Chupacabra has a few. Gonna kill that hatchling pretty good. <laughs> James lives in Oregon, Adam. You'll be making quite a hike to enjoy the wine. Here comes a cannonball. This creates a 1 2 wyvern. I have two empty rooms that if people want to crash and drink my wine with me. <laughs> you live in Oregon, you fun. Oh yeah, I mean, not paying for tickets, but they can come crash for you. You got beds in there? Mm -hmm. I mean, I have blankets. Oh boy. So at least you're not using pizza boxes and pillows for blankets. Oh, Step up to your house. Shoot the camera at the library. Oh, and there's my post, so we do get a trade. Okay. And a resource order has been played. Oops, do I have that? Is that a baby shark I used to pull at your house last time? Jeez. <laughs> you bring your own pillow, you do this. So, uh, I didn't, uh, this winter. We're into games for this matchup. Again, for anyone joining this have, like, a little late, in the, house. the opponent, the loser of this what matchup will be our next round's opponent. Uh, up top, we have No Violet playing the Knowledge Channeler combo, which is, uh, the Unit Knowledge Channeler, whenever you draw a card, deal a damage. Uh, and it has Shadow Clone and some other text. Most of that is irrelevant. Um, what's important here is whenever you draw a card, deal a damage. Then again. there is a an equipment, a uh, weapon, uh, a named card. Sapping Wand. Uh, whenever you deal a damage, whenever the creature, the unit, deals damage to an opponent's base, draw a card. So if you can set a... Sapping wand on a knowledge channeler and anything to trigger a draw a card, uh, and then any reaction spell in your deck that you can cast for free. This can be magic eye poke, this can be big brain, whatever. Um, you can go ahead and 
draw like through your entire deck and machine gun your opponent to death infinitely. Yeah, I mean, you've got to be seeing it coming. He knows what, you know, what his deck consists of. Yeah, so we're just going to play a bunny of these dead. I like this. Yeah. And you can't attack because there's nothing more bad against the vampire. Yeah, I like this. Strange here that... Yeah. Mimpack has decided not to, to try to press damage while we have an empty board. I would 100% be pressing damage here. Should Austin be taking his time with the throw? He's, uh, he is overcooking in one of those pots that I need to. Popcorn Taco Chicken Game 1. Looks like that <clears throat> list that he's been brewing in the Shadow Realm is pretty spicy. Ooh, here's a recycling stage. What's in the discard pile? Is it just this eyes on the third cannonball key? I would take the eyes on the front of it. So catch me up on uh, this game. Um, so Violet won Game 1, neither player comboed, and then in this game it's been pretty slow developing board because okay. the one hatch that was drawn for Violet. Ooh, Double eye poke. Eye poke. So we're a wow. Kill this resource hoarder. Now that it plays like unit cannon and traffic wand, actually enjoy. Yep, and there's a unit cannon in my hand right now. I promise. Oh yeah. Because we have drawn to two. Is this a kill? No, it's a lot of damage. Though. Twelve damage if we are firing. Bunny up has four attack, right? Oh, 14 damage. Yeah. yeah. Yes. So what they're trying to figure out, unit cannon is uh, essentially, it gives the okay, equipped creature plus three, plus zero. And then when they, they can't be blocked. And when they die, or when they finish their attack, they die, and the unit hand comes back to your hand. So... Game plan here... Yep. Looks like next turn, strap unit cannon to Bunyip, which has terror, so it would deal double damage to opponent's base. Crack for a billion. That's a pretty decent one. I figure there is with the two points in one game. Almost certainly. Big swing go for boom. Shades on a bunny, I'm sure. Just looking at unit cannon. Wolf Man, though, does like to think ahead, so there's a chance that, oh, there it is. Just, there's a chance that he would level it and not. There's the cannon. Level it too easily, yeah, but there it is. That'll be game. Yep. Unit cannon's gonna cause this on you here to shoot the base to 14. It will need to be granted there going to attack, but that's fine. Going to the middle. I mean, I'm going to do that later. Or one one. Or rather, going to game three. Yeah, all game threes again so far this week. Makes me a bit proud. We have yet to see a deck just come in and two zero everything. There's a deck that would do it. I was expecting it to be Zoo, but facing that probably the worst matchup for the Zoo deck right off the bat. 
Yeah, and then you said popcorn. Oh, popcorn taco plain. Yeah, usually not Correct. Yeah, <coughs> really some potential if popcorn wins game two here. They should go on a 2 0 run. This looks pretty spicy. Just trying the um, super structured dough batter, or um, I'm not sure. I can't remember what I made the pre-constructed dough to be. Cannonball for three. I just don't believe so, though. No, 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 definitely not running the pre-con. I don't think because I did not see heart of the fruits on the list, and I feel like those were in the pre-con. Oh, they are. Yeah. Cannonball right. turn one for Violet, Knucklehead turn one for Wilson. So something that's important about this game is that the game is really combat centric. It is about playing units and attacking. So you really need to start thinking about, you know, there's the eye poke. Like, while this cannonball did more damage in the the immediate, like the, the units are really where things are, and removal like actual spells, spells and reactions that kill the units are at a premium price. That's very good. Miling here looking pretty hot. Basic armor. This is a four health Miling. That's pretty, pretty sick. Zap still kills it. Game setting up to be a little longer. Journeyman, one to base. And this is really strange. This is like, I'm going to ignore your units. I could put the extra damage. My deck is known to contain eye poke. Probably just looking to trade off units with it, I suppose. Which makes sense. Our deck's really looking to to either slam that's pretty hot both decks playing sapping wand real interesting there's a knucklehead sure Audio check. Anybody else here? Uh, I'm here. I just decided that I also have uh, cans of beans and peas in my closet, so I'm going to use those. I'm here, but quickly devouring a couple of coconut shrimps. Also, I will trade. I will trade you two cans of peas for one coconut shrimp. Be quiet. <laughs> Game devs currently bartering food. <laughs> Very much value in that trade too much. The knucklehead has been played. We're all the way to turn five. The violet might be much needed. <clears throat> I mean, not in much danger is an interesting way to. Oh boy. That savage. Chain lightning gonna take out both of these targets. Chain lightning, no. 
non-believers say it would not be good at four steel points. Looks like we're starting to stabilize from Violet's side. There's a channeler. Turns out five wyverns very good. And that's it. Sick. So that's us playing against one wolf man pack. So we're about to settle into Ending, our next round. Uh, Wolfman to lose, correct? Yep. Wolfman uh, is not to lose in the middle face. Adam is now the one of losers. Can you message your friend code to Paco? that we have wolf added here. Wolf has yet to accept my uh, one zero taco. Cool. 
let's go ahead and actually just resume this game. Sick. Turn around, dude. How are you? No, no. He's got infinite combo, so that doesn't feel great. Yeah, I saw that. I saw that. I was watching the stream. I was like, <laughs> I mean, when they gave him a, he's been a infuriate work and stuff, and you know, they haven't tested it yet to see how often it come out or whatever, so. Yeah, it was just discovered a couple of days ago. I just sent you an invite to the lobby. Got it. Yeah, I mean, infinite combo should be a thing, so... I think it's kind of dope. Yeah. They should have their counters as well to them. Yeah, well, I mean, yeah, it's... definitely something to watch out for. I think it's something that's going to be on everybody's radar, but given that it just came up, I think that they're just going to... Oh, absolutely, absolutely. There we are. Make sure... My sideboard is undone correctly from the last game. It does appear to be so. Sick. Oh, we're on the, um, uh, Oh, you, you need a base? And, yeah, I just need flash form. Okay. Uh... Yeah, one second. I can grab us one. Oh, shit. I think that belongs to you. It does. Hitting the buttons wrong. This happens frequently. There you go. Thank you. Yep. Alright. <clears throat> Hi, Roloca? Yep. Cool. Goodbye forever. Uh, okay, go. you go first. I mean, it looks like a tie, but... Alright, yeah, I'll go first. Give me just a moment. I will... Alright. So we'll get this underway. Good luck. Yeah, thank you. Thank you. I will keep this. All right. All right. So I will put my points into nature, play a rooted entling, and a second rooted entling, and right. pass to you. Now it's draw. Yep. I'll play mining, I'll go up to 23 HP, I can close to B. Sure. And uh, I'll take this dice. And I'll in turn by the one rage tower. Yep. Alright, reset, draw. <clears throat> I will... Hmm. We will attack for two with Rooted Antling. At the base? Yep. Takes it. Okay. I will attack for another two with Rooted Antling. Takes it again. Alright, then I will... In my second main, play a Dryad Sapling... Go to one espionage, play a miling of my own, move to the end and put a rage counter on my miling. Go ahead. Okay. 
Chupacabra. Hey, I, sorry, I'm just hitting all the talk. I'm sorry. No, you're I'm fine. Going to, uh, I'm going to Chupacabra. And I'll take basic armor and equip it to my mining. Sure. And then I will pass my turn, hitting you for another one. You got it. And there you go. Reset. Draw. They will put a point into militia. I will spend it for a heart of the troops, which is currently a 3-3. Three, three. Okay. <clears throat> Then I will pass and put a counter on my myling. Okay, I will take the one. Good. I will go up to three and ask you that. I draw. And then let's see. Anywhere. You're fine. I'll play my battle mage, and it's both he doesn't proc or anything because I have nothing to grab from the very bars and not sack anything. Okay. And I will pass my turn to you, token you for one again. Yep. And there you go. I will attack for three at your base with Heart of the Troops. Okay, I will respond by blocking with him. Okay, we'll trade. All right, I'll take two. Oh, it is a three-one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Hmm. Then I will make a point in magic. Go to end and put a counter in my myling. Okay, I'll take the damage. Just give me a few seconds. You're okay. After that, a four to signify its total HP. You got. Okay, so I take the damage, and then I will draw for turn. Okay. A second armor on my island. Sure. Followed by a Kijin Ghost Blade, so it's unblockable. It gets an additional two attack. Yeah. So that's and, uh, five. Five of terror at your base. It's unblockable. Yeah. I go to five. Alright. And now you go. And I go to four. Yep, my island train. Draw. Okay. Okay. This is the tankiest mining I've ever seen. <laughs> All right. Well, we'll start with two damage at myling. Block it with him. Got. It. Right. Yeah, yeah. Yep. They'll trade. Yes. Yeah, turn now. I was going to take it back and wait and be patient, but. It's turn now. I'll, if I make the mistake, I make a mistake. Two more damage at my lane. All right. Three damage at my lane. All right. So then we am um, down to one on the mine. Yep. And you gain three. Okay. Yep. And I will hit the last damage on your my lane. All right. So my lane is dead. I will gain four. All right. Then I will gain a point in magic in my second main, play a bolt caster, 
play a sickly wasp and pass. I'll go to five, I drew a card, start using alt again. You okay. I'll play Nightmare Orator. Yep. And that will be turn. Okay. Wasp will go to two, we'll reset all our points. Draw a card. So five. I will put a point in engineering. I will deal two range damage to your orator. Not right. I will have terror, so you don't too much in. And he's dead as well. Yeah, uh no. We're just gonna put two on him for right now. Okay. Uh, and two to base? No, I guess we're probably supposed to kill it. Yeah. We'll do two. Oh, yeah. yeah, we're gonna deal two to it. You Okay. That is a, probably a better line. Then we're going to play a bolt another bolt caster. And yeah, this play, my nerves, just uh, bolt cast and everything. Yep. Heart of the Troops, who is a 2 2. And we will pass to you. Okay, draw. Yep. This is a 1-1. One, one. Uh, three, slash, three. I'll pass to you. Okay. We'll draw. Get a second point in engineering. Spend my one point. Oh, hello. To play a brass knucklehead. Make this a 2-2. Right. Two, two. Spend the two points in engineering to play a Dunce Driver, which is a 4-3. Yeah. And then we will attack your base for four. All right, I'll take the four. And it is your turn. Six. Um, hmm. This is hard, because no matter what I play, I think you just killed it right off the back. I'll pay four to play Hodag. You got it. And I'll pass over to you. All right. Set here. Draw. Go to second point here. Hmm. Spend our point here, play a Mamba Hatchling. It says three. going to attack your base for four with Dunce Driver. Yeah, big four. Attack your base for two with Brass Knucklehead. Mm -hmm. 
take the two. I will attack your base for three with Heart of the Troops. Lock her with this. Yep. There's three on it. We'll use Bolt Caster to kill that. Oh, uh, you don't want to attack the base with it? Nope, we're good. Alright. That's out of play. Okay. And then I will pass. Okay, I will draw. pretty good. And I will slam him into your snake. Okay. Go ahead and trade those off. Okay, I'll pass turn to you. I'll take one. I lost my die. Oh, there it is. <laughs> You're... Reset everything. Draw a card. I think this is yours. Even if I block, I don't think I get the chance. So, bolt, get one turn. Let's say bolt caster will kill your miling now. Why would you ever do that? You could just win. <laughs> Can't believe you. Hey, all my chances. Uh, we're gonna deal two damage to you with brass knucklehead. All right. Then we're gonna put a point in nature. Play a woodsman and pass. Okay. I'll draw a card. Side of hand. You got Let's it. Let's these two. And draw three. Okay. This card is really not cooperative today. Sure. And then I'm going to take another three to hate your woodsman. Woodsman's dead. Yep. And that is all six. And then um, I will put, that means I lose a point here and put a point in engine. Mm, yeah, put a point in engineering this turn. Okay. Okay, here we go. Reset. Draw. I will attack your base for four. Yep. I poke you four. <laughs> no, no, I poke. We'll play a second knucklehead and then put a third point into nature and pass. Okay, I'll drop. I will spend three to do another side of hand. You got it. Ghost played zombie juice. I'm not really worried about zombie juice to be honest. That's fair, that's fair. It's, I'm, I'm not getting anything, so. I'm getting the agitation point. Uh, let's see, I'm gonna pay one to play my miling. Sure. I will put an additional point 
into this as well. Sure. But that's going to be game. Okay. Game two. Yeah, look how messy my Discord pile is. Nothing wants to go in the Discord pile. I don't know why. It just, Tabletop Sim just gets weird like that sometimes. Let me change out flash form. Okay. I'm going to make some changes myself, specifically these. Excuse me one second, I think my grocery is over, I'm going to go pick them up right quick. You're fine, go for it. the porch. Playing against barracks. I was told five, but I have no groceries yet. <laughs> Oof, rough. That's savage. Alright. Hope you don't mind, I'm creeping. Alright. You can have your game with me, though, you win. Sure. I lost it, Okay, I'm gonna mulligan. Uh, I'm gonna keep this. I'm gonna keep this. I'll keep this as well. Okay. I go first, right? Yep. Okay, I'll put one point to espionage and drop a mini. You got it. And then I will take my zero and I'll make it tanky again. Sure thing. Last turn to you and poke it that one. Draw. Okay. We're gonna get in two in nature. Now play Nature's a alley? sickly rhino. Ew, don't play sickly that thing. Fair. Uh then it is your go. Yeah, we'll draw a crap. Another point to espionage. And I'll spin one to play a brass knucklehead. You got it. And I will pass turn to poke you with the one again. You got it. There you go. Reset this. Draw a card. That's on two. Okay. Second point here. I will attack you. Smiling is currently... 4 HP, I think, right? 4 it, HP. Oh no, it's a 4, sorry. Yep, 4 health. There we go, let's fix that. I'll attack Myling for 4. Block with Knucklehead? Okay. So Myling will take 3. Knucklehead takes the 1 to save it. Then I will play a Mantith Soldier and pass. Alright. I'll go up to three and I'll play you. That's very good. Yep. And I'll pass over to you again. Take one. Yep, there you go. Alright. And I wish I, I wish they would heal after each combat. Right. Alright. I'll go to attacks and attack Myling for three. 
Sorry, Martin's running away. Sorry. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You gotta catch her first. So Marlin dies, this right, dies. Game, game three. Alright. Then I will put a point into espionage. Play my own miling. Then you got some juicy secrets. Move to end and put a counter on miling. Yeah, I'll take one. Go. Yeah, I'll draw. I will move to four and espionage. Yeah. And I will honey pot your miling. Rude. It happens. Yeah, it happens sometimes. I'm gonna leave it above that white line so we know it's yours. That's fine. And I'll hit you for eight demon terror. Yup. And um, here we go. Reset. Draw. It's two. Oh, oh yeah. Yep, 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 we missed the myelin. Go to two here. Play a knucklehead. Pass. I will pay three to hate your knucklehead. Yeah, I'm very dead. And I will lay. There's your mining back. Thank you. There's your hate. All right, I will play first this time. All right, shuffle that up. <clears throat> I'm going to open it here. I'm also going to keep this. I will make two nature, play a sickly rhino, and pass. Draw card. I will um, take one in my espionage, as you know, and I'll play the guy. Yeah. He's the guy. I know, I'll never remember his name. You're fine. And um, I'll pass you. No, it's like a strike. Is this only like a mobile attacking, or is it... Nope, whenever it deals way, damage. Whenever, combat whenever it deals damage at all. Okay, thank you. Yeah, absolutely. Draw. Uh, I will attack your base for four. I'm blocked for two. Okay. So it's stunned now, right? Yep, it is stunned. It's got okay. two damage, stunned... Then I will put another point into nature, play two sickly wasps. I think you take better care of your animals there. They look a little sick. I, they're real sick. And then I will pass. Okay, I will draw. Nope, wrong one. Take up two. And, um... I'll use one, and I'll turn into Brass Knucklehead. You got a Knucklehead. I learned it this level, finally. And um, pass to you, I guess. All right. Three, two, two, reset. Draw. Put a point into Militia. Oh, by the way, if you win this, right, you have to, like, literally destroy Popcorn Taco and his damn gears. I'm pretty sure he's playing gears again. Uh, I think he's playing something different. Ooh, that'd be interesting. Play Heart he's of playing the Troops. Demon. What did you say, Nico? Playing Heman. Yep. Oh, Heman. Okay. Damn, so, should play my Heman deck, too. We will attack for four with Rhino. I'll take Rhino this time. We'll attack for four Airborne with the Wasps. Okay, that's 21. That's that spent. Then we'll take T 
you to play the woodsman. Okay. And pass. Alright, I'll drop. Yep. Ready? Play resource war, and I will swing this at your dude, at your foot soldier guy. Yeah. Uh, I will block with the sickly rhino instead. Oh, you still block. Okay, fine. Yeah. Well, he did dead now, so. Rhino, rhino was dying anyway. It's probably fine. Yeah, he, he used his last one to do something good with his life. Uh, no. What is he playing with that cup for? I'm trying to figure this out. Yo, so the Rhino had two damage on it because he Oh, uh, crap. Was... Yep. Okay, so the heart has taken one damage and. And it's stunned. Went. Sure, got it. Thank you. Yep. So this is also a 2 2. Set one here. Just make things a little more legible. All right. Then we'll reset. Th oh, lost below. These are on three. Reset these. Draw a card. Decent, okay. Point here. Play a force multiplier. All right. Play another woodsman. All right. Send my woodsman at your base. I'll take the three. Okay. And then send four airborne at your base. Okay. Oh, we have 14. Yep. And then I will pass. Okay. I will pick your chart. Okay, this turn, I'll be playing my Chupacabra. Yeah. Followed by my Myling. Sure. I'll give my Myling two armor as well. Okay. And the Myling's back up to six. You got it. I will pass my turn and poke me for one. Yep. Alright. Both of these wasps will die. This to three, this back to two. Try to keep all this up. Two, two, draw. Put a point in engineering. Spend two for a Mantith soldier. This has three power yet again. We're gonna send Heart of the Troops at your base for three. I will. I only need two damage to kill it, right? Yep. I'll block with the Chupacaba. Okay, you'll take one. Yes, I take one. Yep. Then I will send Woodsman at your base. Take the three. Woodsman at your base. Take the three. Force multiplier at your base. Block it with this. Got it. You'll take one. They'll trade. Yep. And I will pass to you. I will draw. We'll pay four to play Nightmare Orator. Mm -hmm. And um, I'll pass to you, and that will poke you for one and make you discard one. Uh, whenever a monster kills a unit. Orator says whenever a monster kills a unit. It's not sapping wand. Yeah, you're good. You're good. I don't know okay. my brain. No, you're fine. you're fine. You're fine. I was just like, just wanted to make sure we were on the same page and you didn't mean to 
to try to do something else. So yeah, that doesn't make sense. <laughs> oh, yeah, after we my hand, I was like, oh shit. Reset. Draw a card. We will start the attacking. Uh, Woodsman at your base for three. Lock it with him. Okay. Uh, he gets three counters on him. I'll just make this. He has one HP left. Sure. Uh, Woodsman at Orator for three. All right. Orator for three. Oh, wait. Uh, you discard a card because the monster killed him? Yes. I will. And you'll discard another one with this one when oh. it dies. I messed this up real bad. Not yikes. Okay. Uh, yeah. So, first discard okay. Shambler. And then, yep, and discard another card. Okay. Discard Hatchling. Yikes. Messed that up real bad. It happens. Oof. Um. Manta Soldier at your base for three. Okay, I will miss. Three, it only has three, right? Correct. Okay, um. I will block it with this guy. Block okay. it with him, Yep. Mine's a three. Okay, this has two damage on it. I will put a point into engineering and pass. Okay, I will draw a call. will then uh, pay four for Honeypot to take your mantle. Yeah. And then I will hit your base for four with this. This out of terror. Yep. And I will hit your base for three with your mantle. And I will pass to you. All right. Oh, wait, wait, wait. wait. Okay, we're good, we're good, we're good. I was like, yeah, I was doing math wrong, but we are good. All right. Nine here, draw a card, put a point into espionage, spend two to play sickly rhino, pass. Is it pass? Yep. Okay, sorry. You're fine. I will then go up to seven. Yep. And I will spin off seven to play Hodag and Yuri. Sure. And then I will bring your base for three with the Mantha. Hmm. <laughs> yeah. Okay. And I'll pass turn so the mine will poke you. Wait, 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 sorry, one second, let me think about this. Okay. Um. How many cards in here? None. Okay, if that, okay, yeah. Thank you for, uh, let me think about it. Oh, wait, I can't do it. Okay, we are good. We're good, we're good. I think I have flesh forms out. You're good. Okay. There you go. Done? Okay. Yeah, if I had flash forms, I was going to sack the group right here. Two. Draw. Yep. I will put a second point here. Points here? Sorry, uh, espionage. Okay, thank you. I just zoomed in too much to see. You're, you're, my apologies. Uh, second point to espionage. Pass. Okay, I will draw. Then uh, put a point to engineering. And then I'll play a third, a second year, yep. or a three. There you go. And 
I will use my bait. I use the barracks to make another foot soldier. Sure. I don't have foot soldier tokens. I don't know where those are at. The they're off the table. Oh, uh, just dice equals foot soldier token. Sure, you got it. And then I will send the man off at your base. Yeah. I think it's game, huh? Come back and send Hodag or that next. Yep. Or anyway. Hodag. Yep. Alright, GG's. GG's. Messed that up real hard. Could have played both of the cards in my hand that I ended up discarding to Orator. Definitely not. Should not have went to attack. Yeah, I should have played first, then yep. attack first. I know she did that. I mean, it was, it was really good for most of it, huh? <laughs> Definitely a lot better. Seems to hold yourself first than to do it after attack phase. Definitely just depends. In that circumstance, it was pretty, uh, pretty bad. Yeah, I was, like, prepared to, like, to, like try and, like, hit me for three with a cannonball or something. So I was, like, I was hoping I had flesh form out so I could sack it to get me, um, to get me something, you know? Right. Me versus you both. All right, no cheating, Nico. <laughs> no good. Oh, <laughs> Oh, man, I'm about this lobby, so, well, not this lobby, but this um, game menu. Yeah, I'm already exited out, so you can invite me. But I don't know how to do that stuff. All right, so let me to create multiplayer. Sorry, I will there... hop out of this oh. testing room. Later, Wait, you, I already left. I, I know you could just leave, though. Uh, I couldn't leave here, but I'm going to hop out of the testing room so you guys can chat. See you later, guys. <laughs> okay. Oh, I was going to ask you, Adam. Yeah. Is there a place for where the rules is and the cards are? Yeah, the, so kind of they're yep the they're on the there's a link on the Discord. Uh, it's also just the website routetcg.com, and uh, you can actually also find them. There's little like iPads on the table that actually have the full card okay. gallery and stuff like that. We've been deleting them for the tournament to try to keep it looking a little cleaner, but yeah, oh, it's yeah. like the the iPads and stuff on the table in the the mod pack show you all the rules and all the cards. Okay, cool. All right, later dudes. Later, later. Me. Me. Savage, uh, that misplay cost us the game by a lot. Um, if I had played my things first, I was thinking let's try to conserve, like to, to conceal information and didn't consciously think about that line of text on Orier. Um, I should not have attacked. It should have been dump my hand, then attack. Make my attacks when they're good. And then we turn the game around. Um, we have a whole bunch of extra power in play, like six extra power in play. But instead, I punted the game by attacking, first trying to conceal information when it was actively detrimental to do that. Yikes. Well, all right, we're going to pull this back up for everyone and I will uh, be right back everyone yeah we'll uh, wrap things up here in a little bit so what we're seeing here if there's anybody watching who has not played route yet is every card laid out individually in the entire game for deck building purposes. So feel free to download the mod pack, sit down, take a look through all the cards and see what you come up with for deck building. Over here we'll do a little impromptu deck building <laughs> tutorial. So you got Real quick, I, I do have some words from um, Adam about that last game. Okay. Um, could have played both of those cards that were discarded. That was during their uh, attack, and they were holding onto those cards to conceal information, not realizing I that. that they yeah, I caught that that was a blunder on the orator. Yeah, so a little bummed out about that. Would have definitely made a difference. Yes, absolutely. Yep, I caught that right away. As yeah. soon as they attacked, I went, oh no. Yeah. Bets on Miko never doubted. We will <laughs> see, my lord. Nico to the championship. I would lose my mind. That would, be, that would be Wyvern's best performance. We've seen Wyvern be a powerhouse in the format, but just can't quite get there. 
yeah. against the field. It has some great matchups, but it seems to just not get there against the later game decks and combo decks. Can we get some buff frogs in the chat? <laughs> True. Frog buff looking huge. Let's take a look at that. Sorry, everybody. We are back. Um, so I believe I'm going to reach out to the mods here in a second, but I think that that is us dead for this tournament uh, for prizing. Uh, unfortunately, that misplay in that third game there cost me the, the tournament. Um, I should have 100% just dumped my hand first, then made my attacks, um, and everything would have been fine. And I think that I win that game by quite a bit. But by making my attacks first, and then having to lose those two units uh, to orator triggers, uh, I 100% like lost the game and therefore the tournament. So I'm gonna reach out to the mods, real the devs, real quick, just to make sure. But I think that we are 100% toast for the day. Confirmed out of the tournament. I have absolutely no idea, but I know whoever makes it to grand finals is going to have that reset advantage. They will have to be beat twice from whoever comes from the east. We yeah. have seen that so that. far that that means absolutely nothing if your name is Popcorn Taco. We have seen that is the case. Popcorn Taco making that look like the easiest best four out of seven in the <laughs> very interesting might actually be optimal to fit in more level up cards and things of that nature <laughs> i have never experienced realization and panic like i did remembering that ability on nightmare operator <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah that yeah. was we all kind of knew with the two cards left in hand that it was a blunder <laughs> Oh my god, no! <laughs> I'm ruined! You can see the hand swirling. I mean, that was not good. We are playing five to four. I guess I'm going to like that. That means you lose the game immediately. Well, it looks like. Cool. Yeah, that this is man's going first, and this is turn one. So it looks like we are. Yeah, all wrapped up for the evening again i appreciate everyone joining me uh watching me punt my way out of this tournament uh we'll be back again tuesday of next week uh playing some vintage magic and then we will be back so next week's schedule might get a little odd um i am playing in confirming in discord i believe that next Saturday I will be not playing in this tournament in order to
play in October 9th. No, okay, so I can do both. All right, so we'll be back again next Saturday then to jam the Saturday tournament. And then that Sunday, I will be at uh, Perfect Storm in Paw Paw, Michigan, playing some vintage. So if you are a fan of vintage magic and find yourself in Southwest Michigan, uh, please feel free to join us at Perfect Storm Paw Paw for full proxy vintage on the 9th, if you are so inclined. Uh, I will be doing that next weekend on Sunday. But we will be back again Tuesday and Saturday of next week. Same schedule, uh, 10 p.m. Eastern time on Tuesday with some vintage and then about quarter to five on Saturday for the route beta testers tournament. So that's it for me everyone. Again I appreciate you all hanging out a whole three hours watching me just punt myself directly out of the tournament. Uh, but it's great and it just means that I get some time to kind of work on something new for next week. I think I got a pretty cool one. Uh, any of you who followed my escapades and magic in the past might see something that looks uh, a little a little more my normal speed so we'll uh, let's go check that out but all right everyone good to see you all i hope you have a great weekend cheers gone before there is a single card in the discard pile i want you to have no value you don't want to see that happen again